Today, my topic is argumented future. And uh, this presentation is going to take you about 15 minutes. Uh, if you feel uh, to something to ask, please, by the end of the talk. Thank you very much. Uh, let's introduce myself. My friend called me King Hood. I was born in 1985. And uh, I'm a new media artist, exhibition design director. In the past seven years, I produced over 70 multimedia projects, such as new media performance, uh, contemporary art exhibition, and uh, museums, including six pavilions in 2010 Shanghai Expo. Uh, I'm a member of FC, our guys uh, to seek out what our uh, city futures looks like. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay, now I want to ask everybody how many information do you remember? Maybe some of you, uh, some of all of you, maybe some of you remembered my name. Maybe part of you may remember my what I do. But I think most of the information I just told you. Uh, in our brain, it's like this. I call it fragment memories. Uh, let's imagine a business situation. Sex, uh, some people invited invited name card. The name card, business card, can save our memories. Uh, how many business cards do you collect in a week? and how do you collect them? I collect them in my name card folder, but several weeks later, I definitely will mix those names. Uh, two years before, one day I walk on the street, a lady stopped me, and she acted know me so well, <laughs> and uh, she also invited me to visit her new gallery, but it's a very embarrassing moment, I forgot her name. Uh, that day, I back to my home, reopen my name card folder, but I'm lost. I got nothing. From that day, I decided to make a unique name card by myself. It's really nice to meet you here. So far, so good. Hi there, greetings. My name is Kingford. So far, so good. It's really nice to meet you here. Okay. Hi there, greetings. It's really nice to meet you here. This technology I use called augmented reality. This technique appears in 1990 and uh, it, uh, apply a virtual world into reality, provide user an interactive opportunity. Now, it's widely supported by lots of mobile devices such as everybody's smartphone, iPad, and uh, portable glasses. When I finish my augmented reality card, uh, name card, lots of people like it so much and somebody tell me it's not only a name card it's become an information platform and uh, and the self branding methods later two of my friend uh, it's a French artist called LLND they make a art in, uh, new media art installation uh, in Shanghai they, they put in this work into Xin Tian Di walking street in Shanghai. And uh, this work called uh, speaker mouses. When people close to the microphone, they can automatically track in people's voices that make it, then put in their voices, upload to the website. And my friend showed huge interest with AR technologies, so we decided to cooperate, promote this work. So I make a virtual contents for this work. I add a clip of 3D animation on it, then putting uh, the smartphones with AR technology. And uh, everybody can download this application on the web. 
uh, if you're talking with with the smartphones, the flower will uh, will like weaving in the flower in the winds, and in 2011, uh, in, uh, the speaker mouses exhibited in Paris. Meanwhile, the people from all over the world they experienced uh, this AR speaker mouses at the same time in in their hand, um, which means the people not in Paris can interact with work at the same time, just like the physical one. And uh, after my doing this, these two works, my name card and uh, speaker mouses, I just think, what can I do more with augmented reality? Uh, so last autumn, the Tsinghua University gave me an opportunity to show my results. They invited me to attend an uh, exhibition in China and the Science Technology Museum. And I was deeply attracted by these logos because I'm informed uh, by the people, some people tell me this logo will never change and they will keep this logo forever in the future exhibition. Then um, I observed this logo appears in lots of uh, locations on the posters, on the catalog, on the website, tags, even on the ticket. So which means my trigger become everywhere. Uh, this time I will put people's attention to those logos. And one month later, my work Permanent Ecology was born. Mm. In my exhibition stands, there are no tables, no painting works, no art installation. It's just a printing logo and several tiny postcards. People can download the apps uh, uh, from site by using their uh, iPhone and iPad and uh, or they can bring this work by, by bringing the postcard a very tiny postcard in my hand here later everybody can try this work at right here and they bring the postcard back to the, to the home they can, they can do the same thing like they interact in the museum uh, that kind of works this work can automatically send in those images to my mailbox. And the first day, I received 200 of, uh, of their works. Uh, all visitors become part of my work. <coughs> OK, just like uh, my AR logo and uh, NAP card, it's not only the way of a sophisticated the world through the AR technology, through the physical world to the digital, but actually I put an information code on the physical world. Last thing commercially, I brought this idea combined with advertising activities. Um, in Suzhou, the member of If City developed a demonstration system for the real estate clients. Here's a video. <laughs> After all, AR is just a technology, but our creative is limitless. And AR already used in those fields, GIS navigation, actually it's a promoted GPS. And uh, entertainment nowadays, er everybody can download lots of AR games from website and print the marks and then you can play it. 
in industrial manufacturing is bring the engineers lots of convenience. And for the medical part, for instance, in the hospital, the patients take an uh, x-ray examination, but this time they don't need to print the x-ray film. They just uh, transfer the data to the doctor's mobile uh, AR devices. The doctor can scan their, their injured part by 3D positioning very directly, not only accurate, but also environmentally friendly. And I believe in the near future, AR can combine with social network service and location basic service um, can can into our world. And uh, I truly believe in the future, it can connect to our brain communication technologies, can let the blind people see the world. Uh, but what is the augmented futures look like? Um, if city will present a short video, like telling everybody maybe the answer in the video, but I believe the answer in everybody's hand. So that's it. No one can imagine how the internet will turn out to be. When people are in any place, they can enter into a virtual social network. When maintaining a virtual state, it has become a human need. How to live in the virtual world? We don't have the time to consider. We have been confused and lost, but we have never stopped to think. 也许在虚拟世界里，我们拥有接近完美的体验，但人的整个一生，都可以被轻易扭曲。是的，这个世界并不完美，但就是这些不完美，才成就了完美的真实生命。这一年，我们在未来，努力用我们的知识改变这世界。在这一年，红点设计博物馆并没有因为网络虚拟导航的发展。而成为文明的遗产，它却在我们的努力下重生。人类历史的情感太难以复制，永恒的瞬间，也只有用永恒的物质才可以纪念。我们只是在不同的时代，追寻不同的表达方式而已。在这一年，走在人群里的感觉，一切如新。六度分离理论最终被我们证明并应用，而那些擦肩而过的遗憾，已经渐渐成为。上个世纪的床头故事，在这一年，我们常常坐在一起，说着各自古老的语言，却在一片屋檐下分享。嗯、这一年，信息网络像空气一样自然，但它们不再是透明。全息技术的民用化被投资家热捧。但我们只想用它来改变整个世界，让地球越来越小，小到只有一个桌面的距离。几十年后，城市依然快速的奔跑，细节也依然决定了成败。我们今天的每一刻都在努力，为了让更多的梦想呈现在未来。是信息与新媒体技术的进化，让我们看到了未来的无限可能。我们愿意用每一天追寻这一个没有尽头的梦。